Hi, and welcome to LATI. Upon completing this lesson, you should be able to explain LATI to your friends and family, list the two different sections of LATI and what they contain, explain why you are attending LATI, list what you will need to fully participate, identify best practices for participation in the Expanded Early Start Program, list the various tools in EESP, understand the role of your system mentor, list your responsibilities in EESP, and use best practices in your learning process. Now, who goes through LATI? If you do not have a master's degree in library science, but are performing some functions of a librarian, you are required by Maryland law to go through LATI. If you have a Master's of Library Science or equivalent, you are exempt from LATI. Here is a list of ALA's accredited programs. The Code of Maryland Regulations, or COMAR, requires that anyone who does not have a Master's degree in Library Science but is functioning as a librarian must have 90 contact hours of library service coursework within two years of employment. Although some library systems have other titles for their positions, we will be referring to non-MLS degree librarians as library associates. If you are currently in a Master's of Library Science program, you may be exempt depending upon the number of courses you've completed. Please see your staff development coordinator or human resources staff to determine if you are exempt. In addition, Maryland is committed to providing high-quality library service at all its public libraries. LATI provides basic information for staff that will move us forward in achieving this goal. LATI consists of two classes, the Expanded Early Start Program, which constitutes about 30 contact hours towards the 90-hour requirement, and Advanced Library Associate Training, which constitutes about 60 contact hours towards the requirement. It is not everything about library service, but should provide a good overview of many of the components of library service and some of the modern challenges in public librarianship. Here's a synopsis of what is in each class. EESP has seven modules and is primarily self-directed and asynchronous. However, there are due dates to keep you and your system mentor on track. Advanced LAT is exclusively synchronous training, either online or face-to-face. -face. You will move through the class with a cohort of 30 LAs from across the state. There are nine modules and a capstone project in this class. EESP is designed to be taken within the first 90 to 120 days of employment. However, your library system will determine when you will take it. Other staff members that are not library associates may attend EESP as well. Advanced LAT must be completed within two years of employment. Only library associates may attend, and EESP is a prerequisite for this class. Here is the equipment necessary for LATI. We will be in a heavily computerized environment since LATI is presented on the Blackboard Classroom Learning Management System platform, also known as OpenLMS. EESP requires access to high-speed internet, a desktop, laptop, or tablet, and headphones, and access to Chrome or Firefox browsers. Advanced LAT requires access to a laptop or tablet that you can bring to class with a microphone and video capability. And of course, you need time off the desk to do your work, and if possible, a quiet space. Here are more specifics on the Expanded Early Start program. Please check your syllabus or course calendar for due dates and estimated time to complete the modules. Please note that the estimated time for completion is an average. Some people will spend more or less time than indicated. 
This is also subject to change as we gather more experience with this curriculum. Your course calendar will have the most up-to-date information and time requirements. Each section has a variety of tools. Each module has a Let's Get Organized video, a personal learning guide, which you can print out and is optional. There are lessons, assignments, and open forum discussion boards. Your system mentor will be providing you with feedback. Who are they? It depends on the library system. Sometimes a system mentor will be your supervisor. Sometimes system mentors will be a selected team of people from across your system that are helping you get oriented to your new position. They will be giving you feedback, encouragement, and their experience of how things work in your library system. They have the experience to connect what you are learning with real life. While you won't be receiving an official grade, your responses must be on track before you can move forward. So be sure you're in contact with your system mentor during over the course of this program. Here's how to make the most of your experience. Talk to your supervisor a lot. Set up regular meetings if possible. Keep in touch with your system mentor if this is not your supervisor. Brainstorm with your colleagues about good resources. Create your post in open forum discussion boards and be sure to reply to others. Play with the technology and the resources. This is a safe place to do that. And be sure to ask questions. We love questions here in LATI. And of course, have fun. This is key to good learning. Here are some recommendations from other EESP participants. Manage your time. Work ahead when you can. Keep your supervisor and scheduler in the know. Find a quiet space. We know that can be hard, but that's important. Get the support of your colleagues. Let them know that you need quiet time. And if more than one of you are working on EESP, be sure to work together. If you have any questions, comments, or get stuck, contact Laura Allen, the LATI virtual assistant at laura at wowava.com or Linda Zuckerman, the LATI coordinator at LATICOOR at gmail.com. And again, have fun. The key to being a good librarian is adopting lifelong learning practices. So have fun, experiment, and explore. <laughs>